it. You like Trump? Good girl. You like Biden? Okay, we're back. All right, with the LED. All right, so when I turn this switch on, even though uh, this is on a separate uh, switch, this LED over here would come on. And I was kind of fighting the uh, what it was doing. I wasn't understanding what it was doing. And I just, it's it's been a long day. I mean, I've had this to happen before. But uh, I found another way to buy it, but it was uh, with a three-pole. Uh, yeah. So, to solve this, uh, I, even, I even asked Rainmaker about it, but, uh, you know, hell, he was... He's in Indiana, I'm here, and, you know, uh, he sent me a little drawing of it, and that's what I had. I mean, you can you can switch it on two different ways, or maybe more than that, but you can uh, switch the grounds, or you can switch the hots. But anyways, to solve this problem, uh, I added... What it was doing was the the coil, when you turn this switch on here, it would throw a little bit of juice over there to that uh, cap. And that cap would feed back, because you could sit and watch that LED, and it would go dim. Very dim. It don't take a lot to run an LED. Hell, you can run an LED a, a, a long time off of hardly nothing. Uh... hardly any power so that LLE was still staying on well I got a uh, diode there and uh, the diode's going this way well the the wire going back to that uh, going back to that uh, coil inside that uh, relay so the power's going this way so the power coming off that cap was going in here, and I don't understand how it quite goes through there, but it goes through that coil, and it backed up. Well, to solve that, I took a, a one, uh, one in 40, what is it, a 4148 uh, diode, and put that there, and I put them going into each other. So this diode, the band's on this side. This diode, the band's on this side. So the signal can go through here and feed it to that. So it'll come on, but stuff can't come back to light up that LED. That was what the problem was. The power from that cap was feeding back through here, hitting this side of the uh, camp circuit, which I didn't think would go past that blocking uh, diode and go back and hit that and hit that LED, but it did. Uh, it was going through the coil and uh, of it, and then it would send it back through this signal and it would turn that LED light on. Well, I added this uh, diode there, which the amp still works just like it did. You can run that diode there anytime. Uh, it just sends signal one way, power one way. And it's all it needs to do is turn it on. Uh, turn this relay on. The uh, the kip circuit, all it does is, through this cap here, when it sniffs uh, ORF uh, being coming through the input side of it, it goes through this cap, and that goes through that cap and sends, tells this transistor to come on. That transistor comes on, and it, the only thing it does is connect this ground to that ground. To the chassis ground and of course you got power over here so the relay is going to come on that's all it does but anyways this is the um, this is where it gets voltage 
the voltage comes off this bus fall goes up here to here to this relay and when that relay switches to this leg it sends the say 12 volt 14 volt 14 volt from here over to here goes up here to this block resistor here and then it goes through these uh, resistors which displays heat and then it goes to these diodes which are one in uh, 52 no, 5822s. And I get um, my bias voltage. Pretty simple. Uh, and then the uh, relay here is just hooked up like this one's hooked up. One, uh, it's got a wire coming off of here off the key up circuit. So when the key up circuit goes to ground, it sends it up that way to ground. Uh, actually it goes back down that way to ground uh, then it sees ground this relay here comes on and it sends power from this leg to this leg and sends it up here to the air so uh, only when you key it this relay goes closed and sends the power from here to here so that resistors ain't sitting out getting power the whole time uh, yeah so that's the best way I can explain it and uh, there's the uh, you can't hardly see them but the chokes are there I'll slide them in there it's a perfect little pocket they don't move around or nothing um, I kind of wished I would have took this ground and put it back here next time I will if I build another one of these put the ground back here then I put the uh, put these here and uh, yeah but this is my first time on this little cabinet I like it I put a sticker on the front I got another little sticker uh, I'm gonna put a uh, full peel uh, high drive HD uh, here and then I gotta uh, label it on the back this is a high drive amp you can drive it with about uh, Peak watts, I'd say up to about 180 peak, but then again, it all depends on what you're driving 180 out of. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Mm. So, all right, let me hook the power up. And like I said, what it was doing before, I could turn this on, turn this switch on. It's a green LED. It's not. It's bright when you look into it, but it's a different kind of LED. Uh, like this one is blue to start with. This one's clear. It turns green. But uh, when this power comes on, of course this one's on. But when you turn this on and this one off, it would illuminate that one. Even though the power was only. Only coming from here over to there, it was sending signal back through that cab, which I don't see how in a way, because like I said, it's got a blocking uh, diode there to keep it from going that way. But then again, this coil comes through on this side. It comes through and it's still on that side and go back. It can uh, bypass that. So that coil is still in there. It's like you take a line and you put a diode across from here to here. Uh, it's still going to be hooked up. It's So it would be a coil of wire like that. And even though you put a diode across here, it's still connected here and going to go over to there. It's a coil of wire and that pulls that relay closed. Uh, so... That blocking uh, diode don't really do anything like that. Uh, so, just to let you know. But it's working right now. I just want anybody else out there, if you're having any problems with that light, and that is a problem. I got three or four different ways wrote down, and I got to remember this one. I kind of... Uh, 
I don't think I've really ever seen anybody do that. I don't know. Do I watch a lot of videos on people. And I try to pick up as much as I possibly can on people. That's the reason I like, watch a lot of videos. Hell, just look down in the comments of most of them. I'll make a little comment. You know, good job, this, that, and the other. Just showing them I was there. Uh, I mean, I don't mind. I, I'd like for them to watch my content, too. So, anyways, uh, like I said, I'm deaf, so I can't hear the relays, which is pretty hard to hear anyway because they sealed and shit. So, uh, the noise don't really come out with a big clack like the open ones but anyways all right so the amplifier's on let's uh take it off and watch this led see it pretty much goes off when you key it all right turn that on you see it fade so the the capacitance is coming there and it's keeping this energized for a little bit longer. A kid circuit's already got a capacitor on it. You can make it with different ones. I have made these like this one's a little bigger. It's a 47 uh, uh, 47 uh, microfarad. Uh, you can make it with little ones but I usually use this one on a uh, or on it. Uh, usually use that on a uh, sideband and believe me it, it'll unkey quicker than you think uh, enough that you can hear receive when you unkey the mic that you can hear because this is going to be on sideband anyways it's going to act a little different on sideband than it does on AM it's on AM, AM now so an AM has a carrier so looks like it's longer than it actually is but if you go to sideband where it has no carrier this act uh, completely different but you can check it on am uh to start with but uh so that's all it's doing is taking this relay sending power when you key the mic sending it from here to here to over to here to send all these uh uh, block resistors they're dissipating the heat that gonna come out so you coming in with 14 volts here it's bleeding it down a little bit through there and then these are shutting it to ground and whatever goes past that uh, gets bottled back it goes back and stays here and you catching that little bit of uh, voltage off of that and you put it to the input of the transformer which is the input of the transistors uh, and it's keeping the transistor on. Best way I can uh, explain it. I hate when people throw these big words out and I don't understand them like basement and collector. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, shit, I don't even know. I don't even pay attention to things. I uh, say output, input, ground. It's two grounds. It's a output and it's input. It's simple to me, but I mean, it is base emitter collector, uh, uh, cathode, uh, was it anode, cathode? I don't know. I have to go to the other people's channels to pick up on that, but uh. Uh, try to keep it as simple as I possibly can. Try to. I'm pretty stupid, so it don't come through as smart. Uh, didn't even know you used to even try to act that way. So, anyways, uh, it does a little bit more in bias. My majority of amps do. I've had a couple that didn't. But, anyways, that LED. So, my bias is uh, delay is working turn it off turn it on like I said with me can't hear I have to uh, do that and if y'all want to put a uh, a light up in here that shows transmit that's all you have to do is uh, go from there to there 
would you uh, I could pop a hole in there and every time the light would come on it would show a transmit light very simple but anyways all right let unhook the power I'm gonna take the LED out Ah, uh, that thing is kind of neat. Uh, you only see two little blocking caps there, but it's actually one right here and one right here. So it's full in there. Uh, I don't know what else to say other than show the wattage. Uh, you got to remember this is just a radio head it. Uh, but it is a good radio. <laughs> It's from Rain Maker Team Curve 29. It's got a MOSFET in it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do it without the sideband delay on because it's on AM. But this is the RMS. It's 1000 watt slug. Let me put pan down a little bit. 1000 watt slug here, represented on this meter. 50 watt slug here on this meter, which is uh, the reflect back from the antenna. This is on the antenna. This is uh, the reflect going back towards the radio. So uh, you want this as low as possible. Of course, you don't want any reflect if you can to come back from the antenna, which it will a little bit come back. But uh, you try to tune from that uh, to do that. Yeah, Nova bit me that day. Uh, trying. Uh, Reach, reach, reached for the uh, frisbee and she bit down a couple times she's weird but she bit me and I smacked that nose but this is uh, RMS so a thousand watts you're going to read the bottom scale 200, 400, 600, 800 1000 RMS normally you see about 200 with this radio this kind of radio hit it Hello. So a little over 200. The reflect is right here. Reflect. You want that low as possible. Let's do the talk through. Hello. Hello. It's moving a little smidgen, but not enough to hurt nothing. All right. This is a reflect with the amp power on. Hello. Hello. So a little bit, quarter watt. All right, turn the power on. I mean the peak hit on. So this is in peak now. Hello. Hello. So I say about five fifty, something like it. We just ready to hit it. All right, this is my, it's a, actually a two-pill amplifier in here, but the way this is made, it's got a variable on it, and you can turn it down. And the reason I got this switch where uh, down is off, so if anything up here falls down and hits that, it's not left on, so when I key up, uh, I don't burn a amp up or uh, whatever I got hooked up here I don't burn it up because something that's fell down like a slug fell down it hit that I've had that to happen so I put the switch that down is off so I had to go up uh, this verbal like I said it's like kind of like a Texas star you can verbal the power the, the output power of it uh, some verbals the way their own amplifiers uh, even though you got it turned down, it'll swing up, uh, and you can't really dial a watt on it, but this one's made where you can, so, okay, hello, 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 all right, I'd say 150 going into it, maybe a little bit more. All right, with 150 going into it. Hello. Over 800. 
uh, yeah, you'll see a little bit more if, if y'all drive it with, say, a striker or something like that. I would say it's, let's see, let's see a striker put out. Let's say a striker puts out 110 watts. Hello. You're still going to see about 800, which I can drive it a little bit harder. Let's go up to. Hello. Let's say 200. Hello. That is uh, 900 or so. Hello. What about a white reflect? But uh, I'm getting a little reflect out of that. In between the match, I could uh, uh, move some stuff around and get that out a little bit. Uh, for say it's a little bit longer jumper and uh, kind of fool it to make this meter. But you get one watt of reflect and you get 900 out it's really pretty good so don't worry about it one watt is acceptable very acceptable so uh this is for the radio garage i don't know what he'll do with it i'm pretty sure he will auction it off or something but it's a really 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 little nice little lamp uh, I kind of don't like where the, uh, I kind of don't like the, uh, way I've got used to elevating, uh, the inputs and the output with peel strips, uh, and my point being is like this center ground, uh, on a board like we do it, we lift the, uh, the ground and everything stays the same. It's a solid sheet of copper with this little bit here going in between that legs. I don't know if it makes any difference or not. I would say it probably does. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know, uh, or it follows the ground and then you got, you know, these little pieces that's on the same ground as that, uh, where the input and output is elevated above that and, uh, the transformers are above the ground too. I don't know. I don't know. That's the way it looks. And maybe the way I heard somebody else say it. I don't know. That's normally where you get the saying of something like it. You heard it somewhere else. It ain't actually my original idea. But, uh, yeah. This is held down good and stout. It's got a, uh, uh, it's got, uh, nodes, I mean, uh, some 104s in between there to hold that middle down. I've seen some people do that and it, did it have nothing in the middle and it would lift up. But, uh, I think it's pretty stout. It's got a few little wires that may jiggle around if it's in a truck or something like that, but, uh, it's hard to censor everything down. You just have to hope and pray. That's all I can say. Huh. Why are my cameras doing that? I don't know. But yeah, I had to over overcome that. Uh, on that switch and for see as these LEDs uh, 
this one I had to go down on the uh, resistance to get this LED to light up. And it is, I didn't know it. I learn something new every day. Rainmaker told me the other day, and I didn't even know it, that uh, different color LEDs come on at different voltages. Uh, and that would be down in the milliamps. But I didn't know that. I didn't know red uh, would take more voltage than the rest of them. I didn't know that. Uh, but I'm going off what he said. Now, I still don't know that to be true, but I would... He's never never purposely told me anything wrong but I mean it, anything can be disputed I guess but anyways uh, that's all I got left I think it's a fan with this I got to uh, write off some labels put a label on the front that's the back of it where the air comes out I, I think it's a phenomenal built little box uh, if fat boy have a uh, he probably don't watch my videos. If he was to watch this video, he might want to make some up like this. Uh, I would like it to be about an inch wider, and I would like it to be an inch longer for a four pill. And if it was going to be a five pill, I would like it a good four inches longer and uh, the same width wide. But if you go another inch wide, You'd have room down the side to do a few little things. And, uh, but, I mean, I really can't complain about it. Really can't complain about it at all. Even if it had a different board in it and uh, the ones was elevated, it wouldn't be any problem. I like it. But that cut out buying peel strips. You know, peel strips got high. Look at what they cost now. I mean, they're not outrageous, but they went up a lot. Everything's went up a lot. But anyways, I'm glad I got that figured out. It was, uh, it set me back a good two or three hours. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it comes simple to y'all, but. That's what I was telling Rainmaker earlier. You know, some of the things we do uh, is simple and other people don't know about it. And then little things like this, other people know it and, and, and we don't. For us hooking switches up, it just don't compute in our mind, I guess. But it's working now. And it all... That little diode right there. So you got two going in together. So the power came back up through there and come up and hit that LED. I was thinking it was uh, feeding back through the switch or something. I don't know. I mean, I just wasn't thinking. Uh, when I finally thought about it, it hit me. I said, why don't I just add a diode there? I did, and it, it done it. So, but it diode lets voltage run one way. Think about it like that. It's good to have voltage running one way sometimes. But it also stalls a little voltage too. You got to remember that. All right, then. We're going to leave it at that. Like I said, I'm going to label it. Label it. I do have clear coat on this cabinet. I cleared it. I was going to put uh, green uh, on it. And I decided against it. Uh, for the covering of it, I might have a little something I'm going to do to that. I'm going to look at it here in a little bit. It might be a, another part to this, but I'm just jibber drawing. It's late and uh, it's been a long ass day. So alright, y'all have a good one. Later. Okay, this should be the end of this video. Uh, much as I like it, I hope I don't ever see it again. I mean, it's a good amp. I had no trouble with it. Just, uh, I hope for everything to run right, but here it is. Uh, 
I swirled the top on it. It ain't the best job. I, I gotta get a better drill press. I mean, I got a nice one out in the shop, but uh, being the way this was bent, most people do it while it's flat and then bend it. Uh, it's, it, you can't do this freehand. You have to maybe uh, test around some other abrasive discs to do this with, and uh, and I'll get it down. Uh, but anyways, there it is. Uh, it's labeled 400 uh, HD SI drive. You can put like a striker radio into it. Uh, no more than 200 peak. And you want about a hundred watt dead key, hundred watt dead key. When it's keyed up, when the amp is on, radio's on, you want verbal power when you're ready if you can get it. You want a hundred watt dead key and let it swing, even with the driver on. If you got a driver, not like a striker radio. If you got a driver, you want the radio on, the driver on, and then you turn this on and you uh, either turn the driver or verbal power down. Or turn the verbal power down on the radio to where you did key in a, a hundred watts and let it swing. That's what I like to do. I put uh, one of my fan grills on it. I had this. Uh, I don't know exactly what this is, but uh, I put this one on there. I think it would match the way I got it swirled and all. Anyways, but I've done a little something unique to this. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find me some more of these fans. That's a now I'm deaf. I can't hear it. I know it's pulling a lot of air through there, but it not only it has high gear, it has high gear too. It's got a switch here on the back. Low gear sounds good to me. But then I don't know. I have to listen to it. Uh, listen to it through this film before I can tell but uh, that's low that's high this is a really nice fan really nice it's a ADC fan or something like that. I got it saved in on my phone uh, and, uh, yeah so it's got a high and low fan speed. It's got your, uh, your uh, on and off for you. Uh, that was that was weird the way that was done. But you got your high and low for your. Uh, I mean, yeah, your, your on and off for your uh, SSB. Maybe on a list, put a SSB here. This is just off and on. Put SSB here. Uh, yeah, label that SSB. That's your sideband delay on and off. So if you talk sideband, you go there. But it's, it's got bias on it all the time. But you need a delay when you go to sideband, so you turn that on. But there you go. You've seen the previous videos of it up and running. It doing the same thing as it was. I'm going to show you again before it goes out. Radio Garage, I don't know what he's going to do with this, but here you go. RMS. Hello. What about them glasses? Oh, I'm ahead. 200 RMS. Hello. 200 RMS. Peak. Hello. Let's say 550. Reflect is looking good. Hello. Quarter watt. So yeah. Uh, there you go. I think it's a good looking little amp. I think it's a really good looking little amp. Nice little case. Uh, that's a new sticker I put on it. The other stickers I got is a little too big. I got to make me some more. But uh, that's the blue light is for the off and on, and the green light is for the side band. But uh, I'm going to label that up this way, side band up this way. So, alright then, it'll be SSB.
Alright then, you have a good day. Later.